Hi, in this video I will show you how I built my handheld game uh, onto a soldered board. Let's begin with the components. Uh, this is a typical uh, prototyping board uh, that can be soldered. Here on the front of the board are 0.1 inch centered holes and here on the back of the board is a simple pattern that I can solder to. These are tinned copper plates making it easier to solder. Uh, you can see one of the first steps that I did is I had to drill out the holes for my devices like here's where my um, audio jack is going to go and down here is where my um, my slide pot will be. So I drilled out the holes to make space. All right. As in any project, before you begin, you want to plan. So what I do is I map out physically where all my devices will fit. Uh, here's where I'm going to put the audio jack over. Here's my Nokia display. There's my slide pot. And my launch pad is going to plug in right here onto these mail headers. And I lay everything out on the board prior to beginning. Okay? All right. Once you've figured out where everything's going to go, uh, I will solder down the first elements. Uh, and so I placed in all of my components. This is my DAC right here, my 4-bit DAC. Uh, I have two buttons for my game. Uh, here uh, down in the bottom I have two LEDs and there's the slide pot. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is solder these components down. And so I flipped it over and how these solder boards work is all the components go on the other side and all the soldering will go on this side. All right, let me zoom into one of these headers and show you how I've soldered it. Okay, here we go. Uh, what I have here are two solder joints and I want to connect this wire to that wire. So what I did is I cut this one off at about 0.1 inch. And then I took my screwdriver and I bent it over so it touched. And then I soldered the two together. Right here is the actual wire. Similarly over here, I cut this one at 0.1 inch, took my screwdriver and bent it over so it touched that one and then I soldered it. And so again, I'm going to solder on the bottom of this board and put the components on the other side. Uh, so once my big components are in, I'm going to use my circuit diagram to figure out what's connected to what. See, here's the ground pin coming from the launch pad over to this row of ground, and it's going to go to one edge of my uh, jack. There's the ground pin, which is going to go to my two LEDs and to my slide pot. So, and you can see I use black. And after I solder down each wire, I'm going to get out my ohmmeter and make sure that my connections are valid and more importantly that this wire here isn't soldered or shorted to any of the adjacent pins near it. And because if I check, if I solder down a few wires and then check for shorts, it'll be easy to correct a mistake. Whereas if I solder everything down and then look for mistakes, it'll be very hard to see where I've shorted two wires together. All right, so there's the ground. Uh, here's the power uh, coming out of, this is plus 3.3 coming out of the launch pad, which is going to go to my switches. And then this, is, this row right here is going to go to the end of the slide pod. Have you noticed something else I've started to put on here is these, um, these jumper wires. I took the other end of the resistor, bent it over, soldered it down through these two holes, and then labeled it. That's my DAC. Uh, here's a ground connection, and over here is my 3.3. I'm going to use these to debug. So again, one by one, I'm going to solder the wires down, and then after each color, I'm going to check to make sure I don't have any shorts. And so now I've soldered it all down. You see I love my colors. The colors allow me to see uh, what the pins are. Here's my DAC, my 4-bit DAC with PB3, PB2, PB1, and PB0. Uh, here's my um, port A connected to the Nokia. Uh, this wire right here is the A to D converter wire. Uh, you've noticed I added another check pin, uh, debug pin here uh, that I can hook my, my oscilloscope, my voltmeter on and check this voltage. All right. That's what the front end looks. You see all the, all the components and all the, all the wire here is on the one side and on the back side are all my soldering. 
And this is the back end of the, the other side of the, of the device. Uh, so here it is all put together. I plug my launch pad in and I test it in the usual way. So in summary, uh, what can I say is it's important to plan ahead. Uh, it's important to figure out how you're going to test it before you build it. Uh, as I have said a couple of times, I test things frequently looking for shorts and I look at adjacent pins, physically adjacent pins to see if I put down too much solder. Uh, uh, you can see that a shiny cone-shaped tip means it's a good solder joint. Uh, ball and dull is bad. And then, as always, I double-checked everything. Uh, I labeled everything that I could imagine to make sure I, I, I did it right. Again, that's how I built it.